Yo, what up? It's Air Moses. Man, stop playing God, man. What does this mean exactly, man? So, yesterday... Oh, damn, that pimple is big as... Uh, so, yesterday, guys... I was having a conversation with my mom. Shout out to my mom, man. And we were talking about the relationship I'm in. And I was saying, you know what? Uh, there's really no benefit as far as me raising somebody else's child, you know? Like, I don't get the benefits of a of a father and my mom asked me what is the benefit of having a son and i mean having a child here and i said well i get to recreate my image on this planet you know just like god and she said did you just compare yourself to god and i said i you know what because my mom is a catholic raised you know so she has a lot of christian ways you know bless her heart but she doesn't understand a lot of things about my spiritual path and a lot of things about life in general when it comes to my perception bro facts so the thing about it is bro your attention your willpower your intentions your energy they come from god they come from the universe i'm not saying that you have to be god or anything like that but i am saying you have total dominion you have total control and if you're a christian you know the bible is to be transcended all religion is to be transcendent. If you want to stay a Christian till you, you know, till you are no longer here in the physical flesh body, that's up to you. But you will still, you will understand that when your consciousness separates from your body, when you're just mind, when you're just energy, you know, you have to understand we're not having a spiritual experience. That's not a real thing. Stop saying that you're a soul. You are a soul, bro. You don't have a body. Okay, you are a soul. Okay, so the thing about it is, you transcending the Bible is damn near in the Bible, bro. A lot of people don't worship God, a lot of people don't worship Jesus, a lot of people don't go to church, they just play. They play all day, they play with church, they play with Jesus, they play with God. Stop playing with it, bro. Use it for what it's for to transcend it, bro. Use it for what it's for. A lot of people worship the Bible. A lot of people worship church and they don't worship Jesus. And if you're not a Christian, just apply this to yourself. A lot of you guys don't worship spirituality. You worship the lifestyle. You don't worship yourself. You don't really give energy to what you really want to do. You give energy to these thought forms and these doctrines and these actions that you can't take yourself. And these people, these flesh human beings that make worse mistakes than you could ever imagine. Hold on, let me check them out over real quick, man. So, stop playing, man. Stop acting like you know what it is, bro. You keep giving attention to all this positivity, man. And if you know anything about anything, I'm not gonna go too deep. I'm gonna break that down in a later video. But if you know, are they having a fire drill or is there a fire? It is, that's awesome. If you know any, oh damn, hold on, I'm pretty. <laughs> Hey, if you know anything about anything, man, positive is really negative and negative is really positive, bro. Facts, bro. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you don't. That's okay. But when you put all that positive energy into one place and you start to combine it with the negative energy and it starts to materialize and you don't even know what you're doing, you have to understand there's consequences of that. People do things with me, to me, around me, inside me, outside me, and they don't understand there's consequences to everything. They don't understand that I I think exactly how you don't want me to think. That's why you like me, you feel me? Yes, I'm speaking backwards, I'm speaking in a whole different language. But the thing about it is, you cannot worship, you cannot give your energy to anything because it's not circulating. It's not circulating properly. You know what that's called? That's called sex. When you exchange energy, that's called sex. When you give your energy and you get a little bit of something back or you get nothing back, that's called being taken advantage of, manipulative, manipulated. God is doing magic on you. Stop playing. Realize that, just think of it like this. If you spit on the ground right now, your DNA is in there. Can somebody take that little DNA and recreate you? Would that DNA have the same exact power as you? No, it would not, not necessarily, unless you gave it power, unless you empowered it, unless you gave it attention, unless you gave it knowledge, unless you gave it breath, unless you encouraged it to be you 
I think that's my baby right there. I think that's my Uber. Unless you encouraged it to grow, unless you unless you finessed, unless you moved and manipulated, unless you really gave it energy. So when you keep talking about God did this, God wants me to do it, bro. No, shut shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about, bro. You don't even know the difference between negative and positive. You don't even know the difference between your own thoughts and the fact that thoughts don't really exist. You don't know that. See, a lot of people try to teach me things, but they don't understand the only reason they're attracted to me is because they hate themselves in specific ways or they love themselves in specific ways. And it's sad, but it's true. We're here to teach each other because we're one entity. We just split it up like this so we wouldn't feel lonely. That's why codependency doesn't really exist. A lot of these things don't exist. I'm not a doctor. I don't know if I can legally say that, but it's too late. But yeah, I went on a tangent. I'm going home, man. I clocked out. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it's already done because I see it. But uh, where's my Uber? She, I said a what? I think that's the. I think that's her right there. But don't, don't, be, don't be alarmed. Don't be afraid, bro. Cause it's all gonna make sense one day. And it's not gonna make sense right before you die. Like this is not the movies. Like, hold on, let me make sure that's. It's Aaron Moses. I'm the band. You the band. We the band together, man. Life's in the breath. Breathe it out, peace.